Hey, what's up? This is Robin Thicke, and you are watching The Juice on Billboard.com. Album in stores December 6th. Love After War is, um, you know, about uh, when you're uh, in a relationship, obviously, and you're, you're fighting all the time, and somebody's got to start the healing process, you know. But it's also about the wars that are going on in the world, and uh, some of the album is political, some of it's about the internal wars that I fight every day to believe in myself and uh, get through my own fears and insecurities. I never really... Um, uh, think uh, about the album before I make it or, or songs. I just write what I'm feeling and then I look back and I see where the common thread is in, in the songs that I've been writing, you know. And I felt like by the end, all the songs either sounded like love or war <laughs> or some combination of the two. What are some things that happened? Well, uh, the biggest one was I had a, I had a child with my uh, lovely wife and uh, that pretty much changed everything. Um, it, it made me uh, become a, a better man, a real man, uh, and taught me patience and um, compassion for my wife in a way, or and for women in general, in a way that I uh, could never have fathomed until you see what a woman has to go through to have a child. It's, that's why they don't let men do it. Because <laughs> I don't know, we, we, we've, the human race would just end as we know it. You know, it's really just about my own inner demons. I don't like to talk specifically about things yet. You'll have to get into the album to find out what I, exactly I'm saying and how it connects to people. But, you know, um, just never giving up and and, and, uh, and being able to, uh, to be at peace with your life where it is right now. You know, I have a song called Cloud Nine, which is just about accepting your life and seeing how beautiful and great it is even though you might, it might not seem like you're ruling the world or that you have, you've accomplished all of your dreams or goals yet. The last album I made, uh, Sex Therapy, was kind of an ode to hip hop and, you know, and, and uh, sensuality. And so I, I did a lot of collaborations and it was the first time that I worked with different producers on the album. Uh, but this album, because of what's been going on in my life, I wanted it to be really honest and really personal, and I didn't want anybody else to, to touch it, you know. But then we sent this song to Lil Wayne for a remix, and then he's just so amazing what he does uh, on, on records that it made the song that much better, so I couldn't, not, I couldn't leave him off. The sound of the album is, uh, um, it's all over the place. There's, there's uh, some rocking out, Welcome to the Jungle, Otis Redding soul music. There's... Uh, uh, and some disco stuff. There's a full 72-piece uh, orchestra song. Um, there's a Brazilian jazz guitarist, and um, there's also some Django Reinhardt type jazz, and um, some good old-fashioned uh, soul music also in there. So I, I try. Each song I think is uh, is is very different, uh, and um, and there's 17 songs. So there's a lot of choices for people to get their kicks. You 